welcome to another one of my tutorials. This one's going to be super short. Somebody asked me, how do you make one of those lava beacons? Well, I told them, hey, I'll make a real quick video. So here's the real quick video so you can learn how to make that. Okay, first thing you want to do is build a three by little wall here. This is going to hold your lava in place. That's it. It's just got to be three wide. Uh, all you need is enough dirt to, to get to the top. I usually start on the side. Maybe remember where you're facing. Start right here. And then just build up. Just keep building up. Facing the direction of center. Because you want to place a block at center. And that's where the lava is actually going to come down from. It's going to take a second, so I'll just fast forward it and get there. Okay, you know what you're, you're at the top when it starts telling you you can't build anymore. You can also check your F3 and uh, it will show you your uh, coordinates. But from this point, we know that this is the center of that uh, wall down there, so I usually place a wood block. That way the lava gets burned off when you're done. All you gotta do is place a wood block over the known center spot. You can use any block, but wood will actually burn up and then it won't be there. Uh, then dig down a few blocks. Here comes the fun part. Dig down just far enough where you can place your lava. Place your lava, switch back and then dig down as fast as you can because it's going to follow you. Now don't worry about it catching up and hitting you because it takes a while, trust me. It's going to fall and it's going to take a minute. So just be patient and it will come in right here. And that is all there is to it. Don't worry about having some fancy shovel. You can actually use your hand to break the blocks and still be way faster than the lava. And it's seen from quite a ways away. I mean, you can see this sucker f for a long distance. And that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.